Today we're going to be comparing the DJI Phantom 3 Pro to the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. We're first going to talk about the design changes that happened when DJI transferred over to the DJI Phantom 4, and then we're going to talk about the smaller uh, details and what you should know before you buy either one of these. Right off the bat, if we look at the overall design of both of these, the general shape has stayed the same all throughout the years. The Phantoms have this very classic white look. What you're going to see that's new on the Phantom 4 compared to the Phantom 3 is the overall shape. The DJI Phantom 4s have skinnier arms and the overall body is slightly more aerodynamic than the Phantom 3. Also it has a very nice glossy finish to the entire shell whereas before they were all matte. We can also see that in the remote controllers the entire front panel is nice and glossy whereas on the older ones it is matte. The Phantom 4, not the Phantom 4 Pro, is actually in the center of these two and the design is very similar to the Phantom 4 so definitely check that out if you're uh, liking this new design but not needing all of the advanced features. If we take a look at all of the sensors, the Phantom 3 only has three sensors. There are two sonar sensors on the bottom and one camera. That is it on the Phantom 3. If you look between these, the one that I don't have, the Phantom 4, there are these two cameras on the front which carry over into the Phantom 4 Pro, except on the Phantom 4 Pro, you have a camera and a infrared sensor on the side here. The same two cameras that are on the front on the rear and the same sensors on this side as on the other. If you look at the bottom we have these larger sonar sensors and two cameras to spot the ground. So the Phantom 4 Pro has complete obstacle avoidance all around itself. The only area it doesn't is above but typically that's not a problem if you're flying outdoors. That is a huge upgrade from the Phantom 3 Pro. Another huge upgrade is the camera. So the Phantom 3 Pro shoots 4K at 30 frames per second whereas on the Phantom 4 Pro that shoots at 4K 60 frames per second. Compared to the Phantom 4, that one does the exact same as the Phantom 3 Pro, 4K at 30. Phantom 4 Pro also has a new one inch sensor and a larger overall lens size. The camera itself is larger than on the Phantom 4. If you wanna find more information on that, you can look it up and there are plenty of many useful resources that talk about the camera online. If we take a look at the motors on the two quads here, the Phantom 4 and the Phantom 4 Pro have a larger overall height of the motors. One of the main reasons why they uh, made that change is so that the propellers uh, would not get into the shot, which sometimes happened with my Phantom 3, and that is very difficult to do now with the Phantom 4. The motors are also more powerful than on the Phantom 3 Pro and also on the Phantom 4 Pro. That one I believe is slightly better the Phantom 4, not exactly sure on that one. The propellers on the old one, they were twist on, so you have to uh, give it a nice flick and it will tighten on. They are self-tightening, so the direction that it spins, it will uh, tighten onto itself, which was a nice feature. On the Phantom 4 and the 4 Pro, they actually just are a quick release, so you give it a nice little turn here and it will uh, lock into place. These are much faster, I've not tested the durability, but I haven't heard any complaints, so these seem to be the better propellers. Battery wise, these are completely different batteries. Phantom 3 used this style, the Phantom 4 and the Phantom 4 Pro use this larger style. You can get up to a half hour of flight with the Phantom 4 and I was topping out at around 23 minutes with my Phantom 3. Quick side note on the Phantom 4 Pro, it comes with a larger capacity battery than on the Phantom 4. They are interchangeable, you can use either one with the Phantom 4 Pro or the Phantom 4. You'll just get a little better flight time with the larger capacity one that comes on the Phantom 4 Pro. I still have a bunch of tests to do with the Phantom 4 Pro, testing out the image quality, sensors, motors, flight time, flight distance, all that stuff is coming out very soon, so make sure to stay tuned if you wanna check out all of those videos. I hope this was helpful and just being able to visually see them side by side, seeing how similar they are in size, but then also the differences that each of them have. As always, more information will be down in the description below. If I missed anything or you think something is wrong or important, you can leave a comment and I'll make sure to uh, see if I can either answer that question or figure out what is wrong. Can't go wrong with either one of these. This is just the newer, latest and greatest drone and there's nothing wrong with the Phantom 3 Pro. I've been flying this for uh, two, two and a half years now, and it has been absolutely fantastic. So this is not at all outdated in the slightest. It's just this is the best Phantom that DJ has made so far. Thank you for watching, and as always, don't forget to keep it pro.